Hello and welcome to the Reboot Speedrun tutorial. This is the video on the level 10 boss. This boss is weird and difficult and took me a long time to really work out. The problem is, for most bosses in the game, for almost every boss in the game, for every boss except this one, you want to use rockets. Except here, you'll notice, when I hit it with rockets, it lifts up its arms and defends itself, and I've done almost no damage to it. So, what I recommend for this boss is to... is to... that's a long opening cutscene. Use the blaster for a bunch of it. It won't try to defend itself against the blaster. I recommend doing a mixture of charging shots and just releasing a volley. Eventually you'll see... right there. Uh, you'll see it starts to change its behavior. At some point it'll let out a loud wail. I'll, I'll point it out right here as it does it. Right there. At that point, it's not going to try to defend itself against rockets anymore, and you can just unload rocket ammo at it. Uh, unlike the level 6 boss, this one does not just drop off its tear near the end. You do need to beat this boss. But once you do, the tear is pretty easy to, uh, to mend. Uh, one other thing I will point out, uh, with the way this boss's attack works, when you're fairly far away, uh, it will be throwing projectiles at you. Those projectiles can do a fair bit of damage, so watch out for those. When you're closer to it, the boss will jump at you, like that. Uh, when the boss is doing that, you can, I believe, get some rocket hits in. Also when it does that, that kind of, I don't know what to call it, yell animation, it is vulnerable to rockets at that point. Um, so if you're... If you're very observant in how you're fighting it, you can take it out with rockets. But it's difficult and just significantly more consistent to take it out with blaster shots. If you want to get really optimized with this, I think the thing to do is do a combination of charged blaster shots and volleys, and then switch to rockets briefly when it makes that animation. But that's definitely when you are optimizing this boss to the last couple of seconds, because it does... it does take a bit to get to the, uh, the ammo pickups, and you usually end up killing the bosses at about the same place anyway, unless you... Oop, unless you manage to get a bunch of really clean shots in at it. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or ask in the Discord.